My usual place, but with this spice. Of course, Cyril. It would be my pleasure. Well now, this is enough to make a whole kettle of your special curry. I don't need that much. Rest assured, it's easy enough to make a serving just for you. Or we could make the kettle and share it. There would be enough not only for your companions but other diners as well. I dare say everyone will be delighted. Very well. A full kettle then. Excellent. We'll prepare it at once. And for your excellency and our esteemed adventurer, are you happy to try a bowl of Zero's curry? We can make yours milder if you prefer. Grateful though I am for the offer, I cannot fully appreciate the flavor with this vessel. Another time, perhaps. Do not hold back on my account, my friend. Eat and enjoy. Understood. Please, make yourselves comfortable. It gladdens me to see you taken to life in Radzathan, Zero. In the area of our cuisine, not least of all. Spicy dishes have long been favored in our sultry clime for their ability to whet the appetite and cool the body. Of course, spices also have the effect of preserving foods, which makes them highly coveted in foreign lands. All of this has given rise to a thriving spice industry, and the wealth it brings has allowed our nation to prosper while maintaining its neutrality. So you trade your spices? Seems rather more complicated than trading in ether. <laughs> in the beginning, this land was no more than refuge for me. But now it is my home, and the people of Radzat Han, my beloved children. Together, we build this vibrant nation. And not would please me more than to show it to my sister one day. Vibrant. Rubicante said the same when he described this world. A reminder of all that has been stolen from us. 
what many who remember doubtless yearn to take back. Our home is a lost cause. Our only choice to begin anew. In this world, where we may reclaim our mortality. Nonetheless, it's wrong to damn another to save yourself. As I told Rubiconte, as I found myself moved to speak, I still do not understand what made me feel this way, nor what compels you mortals to help one another. But I hope to someday. We too hope that you will find the answers you seek. What is going on? What? What's happening? Compliments of Mistress Zero, the Sartrap's honored guest. We are serving a special curry for anyone who wishes to partake. But be warned, it is not for the faint of heart. Oh, by all means, I welcome the challenge. Uh, sisters have mercy. The smell alone is... To maintain the facade, the alchemists ensured that my vessel was capable of consuming food. However, I fear Zero's curry would test the limits of their design. Apologies for the delay. Please relax and enjoy your meal. Relax. I don't have time for that. I've been waiting for this. Come, let's replenish our ether. I trust you have eaten your fill. I shall have Merid prepare a meal for us to take to Estinian. I suspect he too is overdue a replenishment. By this hour, he will have retired to his chambers at Magaduta. Come, let us pay him a visit.
Estinian, are you there? We've brought something for you. I enter. Squid masala from the Mehane. I thought you might enjoy it. Masala, eh? I prefer my squid dried. But I'm sure it won't disappoint. My thanks. Idle as I am in our sorceress's absence, I see. I can't offer much in the way of entertainment, but make yourselves comfortable. Shall we disrobe as well? No, no. We simply caught our friend unprepared. He will make himself presentable at once, I am sure. We've been looking for you. My friends! Tell me, were you able to devise a way to return to the 13th? I believe so. It required a visit to the moon, where I took the opportunity to enlist Orionje's assistance. Ishtola hath told me all. I should be glad to help you free Ashdaya and put an end to Golbez's dark plot. If Rubicante spoke true, both Golbez and Ashdaya are on the moon of the 13th. Unlike here in the Source, however, we have no means of making the journey from the surface of the star itself. The technology simply does not exist. Therefore, I propose that we employ a gate to deliver us directly to our destination. Is such a feat possible? In theory, having once been a single hole, the source and its reflections share striking similarities in geography. And according to a certain someone who unceremoniously whisked us away to the first, the same locations across the worlds are intrinsically bound. All of which is to say, were we to pass through a gate on the source's moon, it should lead us to the moon of the 13th. Of course, there is the risk of Voidscent gaining entry to our world. Thus did I decide to seek Orionje's counsel. Both the Watcher and the Loperitz are aware of our proposed endeavor. While they are yet deliberating precautionary measures, they have pledged their full cooperation. You've been busy. I presume you've also found a way to open this gate. Be it in Radzat Han or Shalian, Scholars have long cast their gaze unto the endless dark of the void. And so, with harnish insights to augment our knowledge, we have indeed conceived of a promising plan to pierce the veil. A plan I am confident will succeed, precisely because the moon is our stage.
The preparations will be extensive, and we will require vast quantities of ether. After all, our gate must be large enough to accommodate another great worm. My proposal entails delivering copious amounts of ether to the Tower of Babel in Garlemald. As you will recall, Fan Daniel used the structure to destroy the brand's imprisoning Zodiac. And we, in like manner, will use it to channel ether to the moon and thereby open our gate. I see. Then we shall need someone on the moon for the necessary rituals. Just so, Your Excellency. I intend to head back anon for that very purpose, as well as to help devise our strategy to deal with invading Voidscent. Along with our lunar allies, we will once again require the assistance of your alchemists, Nidana not least of all. May I trouble you to serve as their escort? Fine by me. The room was beginning to feel constraining. For my part, I shall oversee the requisite tasks on the star. Might I prevail upon you for your assistance? If all are in agreement, then let us set to work. We'll open our gate. And we will stop Golbez. <laughs> <laughs>